What is going on guys, Mortal T here, and I am back with my final base tour. Uh, yeah, this is the base that is in progress, it's all made out of metal. And it's on the mountain, well, the volcano. It's on the side of the volcano, so it's pretty tricky. A hell of a lot of pillars, a hell of a lot of metal and cementing paste, it's really annoying. But, we're going to get to it. And I'm in orbital view, and I cannot see shit. There we go. This way, this way. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll slow down a bit because you should be able to see it rendering pretty soon. Come on, rendering. There we go. There's the bottom starting. There we go. The pillars started rendering. A nice view. Right. That's a ramp leading up. So only walking dinos can just. Come up there, get on the ramp, go up. I'll show you that more thingy. Then you got this. Alright, let's land. Right, that was the front of house, have you just seen? Right, elevator. Can't really see it, but metal and glass. Had to use some windows, had to, and I didn't want to use wooden windows or the, the metal. Um, the metal windows, it just didn't look right. Didn't let in a lot of light. So I went with the uh, greenhouse windows. I think they're pretty cool. Right, inside, like I said, this is this is still in progress, so there's not actually a lot of decorating gone on. Or nothing. But yeah, this is the inside. Massive open space. And I didn't want to put ladders or ramps or anything trying to lead up all the way. So I just did... Um, yeah, I did another elevator. Let's turn it on. This has got three floors. The other house only had two. Let's go up. Turn it off. There we go. There's one floor. Put rail. Not quite sure what to put on it, to be fair. Don't know. But the third level is going to be my bedroom. If I can fit a bed in here. <laughs> I'm hoping I should do in one of the corners. Then uh, one of the walls is going to be like for trophies and everything. So yeah, All right. That's the house. Let's go down, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I just like the big open space. I don't like nothing cluttered. Right, there we go. Yeah, I'll give you a decent view. There you go. Right on the outside. Right. Like I said, <laughs> I'm going to keep saying this, this base is not finished, not by a long shot. This is just a place, this open space is just for like, storing your dinos. And these are all vaults running along these two sides. All of them are vaults. So if you get off your dino, right, let me just get you around, land, like you get off your dino, you can walk over, you can like step in the middle of it if you want it, then you just get off. Then you could like access stuff and you can just do that. It's open and sh But I think there's ten volts. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this end one is actually one. Yeah, five. So there's ten volts, five in each side, so plenty of storage space. And it was actually hard trying to get them like near near enough level. There is you can there's a tiny gap so you can see in. But I couldn't get it flush with the floor. I tried, but just couldn't do it. And I walled it all off. My, my bird. This pterodon is too fast. Yeah, I walled it all off on the outside, so it actually looks pretty neat. It's like a big, massive thing. <laughs> yeah, just looks cool. I was going to build underneath this as well. The pillars just. They just get in the way. It'd be really annoying. Right. Let's go down here. Is this generator on? Oh, okay. This generator is already on, so I can show you. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> right, let's go down. Let's walk up this. Unfortunately, <laughs> this was actually pretty hard to do. Because pillar and ramps, oh, it took forever. And I was going to go down all the way, but it just kept getting longer and longer and longer. It was hardly any place that you'd finish, because there's no level ground. It's just a slant all the way so I had to come off to the side just to make it <laughs> end or start whatever you like but yeah you can you can walk up this usually then you can just turn around go into this minigun there 
turret then fair enough this is a long ass walk up but you can actually get up then I forgot to do this and I just fell off oh crap right right <laughs> let me get back do 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 ah dun 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 right de elevate no is that elevate no no, no. sorry de elevate there we go right let's get off can I eh. there we go guy's so fast I shouldn't really use him yet elevator Now you can fit quite a something big on this elevator, like a mammoth or a T-Rex. So you can get some pretty decent big things up that can store a lot of stuff. But then you just walk on, and it's got a lot of weight to it as well. And you don't sometimes you don't even have to get off what you're driving or flying because you can just press it and it automatically goes up, which is pretty cool. I didn't have to get off for that at all. Here it comes up. All right, let's see if I can stop it now. Oh yeah, perfect. But yeah, I extended this bit so you could walk your dinos off, then into the area. Which I found was pretty cool. Stay there, you. Yeah, and I put uh, railings all around this, so you got a sort of walkway, so you got plenty of views. Look at that for a view. That is just amazing. Views for days. It's everywhere. This is what I like building on the side of the mountain. Fair enough, feels tricky and it takes a hell of a lot of metal and cementing paste and the amount of pillars I've had to use. Unbelievable. It's awkward as well. And yeah, it's not finished yet. I don't know what quite I'm going to do. But I will get there in the end. I've actually got an announcement at the end. I'll say at the end. So, it's spend, uh, <laughs> it will mean I'll be spending a let loss. A let loss? A lot less time on the single player. So yeah. But if you're wondering where I get all this metal from, up there. Up there. I'd I have a setup that gets me an absolute ton of metal. We'll fly up and show you. Here it is. Here it is. The amount of Ankies I have up here. Ridiculous. Why does yeah, whatever. But yeah. Four, six. Oh no! Oh, okay, I, I dismount there. Uh, I dis. Yeah, demolished one of them to put another vault in for storage. But I don't really use this. I'm thinking about taking that down as well. As well, putting some more storage in. Because the amount of metal this smelts up. Look, this is like, it's like full. Apart from that, it's full of metal. All of them should be full. Because I use a lot of metal. It's ridiculous how much metal I have used so far all of them are full um, vaults over here it's not quite full but close <laughs> have I put anything into this one? yeah spark powder and gasoline got some polymer and stuff just in case oh saving saving oh there we go <laughs> yeah and this one's full not a I think it's got cementing paste. Yeah, it's got cementing paste because you need a lot of cementing paste. So I've got I've got a good amount there. I probably will need more eventually. A ton of gasoline to run all the generators that are on the base because there's there's a lift for upstairs. There's a lift for downstairs. You need gasoline to power these. So yeah, I made a ton, so I wouldn't run out. Carry on going. Gasoline crystal. Crystal and what electronics? But yeah, I've got what? One, two, three Yankees. Three is that what I've got? Four, I had four. But yeah, I think this one I don't use much with. I just use it to store obsidian, and I've still got some oil and uh, gasoline on there that I didn't even know I had. This dude, I actually with the new um, commands, console commands, I spawn this dude in. Because I really wanted a high level one with a ton of weight. Because I didn't, I didn't want to keep stopping and going over and stuff. So yeah, I spot. I think I spawned him in. I forgot what I spawned him in. Two fifty or something stupid. And I tamed him. Force tamed him. And he got extra levels. And I've just been leveling him up. But yeah, as you can see, there's a ton of metal around here. Some of it hasn't spawned in because of this. There used to be a 
I'm pretty sure there used to be like some here in this area but it hasn't spawned back in because the structure's there so I'm guessing once I harvest this metal as well see how close this is if I just change the spawn radius down a bit this will all get sorted out and it'll all spawn back in but at the moment I'm not too bothered yeah come here you oh, you still got some raw metal on you but yeah this is how I make all my metal it takes time <laughs> a lot of time but that is it that is it it's an ongoing base I don't know what next I'm going to do but I will do something eventually oh I need to put some ramps on here okay forgot about that <laughs> but anyway that is going to be it like I said I have got a little announcement at this very moment in time I am actually on a P, uh, PVP server the new extinction ones so it resets uh, every month so yeah I'm currently doing that so it means less time from a single player but I'm really excited about it hopefully in the next couple of days I'll have some footage for you guys it'll probably just be the first one will just be like a base tour what we do how we got this thing set up but yeah that that's going to be it really further on I will get some proper footage of us raiding some bases of us yeah because there is others on it <laughs> not just me that would be stupid but yeah there's other people on it hopefully in the future I'll get some proper base raids going but that is it guys that's my announcement and that is a video <clears throat> so if you like the video don't forget to show that like button who is boss by punching it in the face and if you're new to the channel don't forget don't forget to subscribe <laughs> if you like what you see and so that is it guys I am Mortal T and I am out